<laughs> going for the degree. I back that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't it. matter what it is. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I'm studying uh, ethnic studies. Okay. Like Asian American studies, to be exact. And, uh, you know, after a couple of years, I'm, like, I'm just ready to get out. Yeah. Of I but, mean, no one uh, no one uses their, their... I mean, very few people graduate with a degree and then go right into that. 80 you know, per- is Roughly 80% of people who get a degree do not go into a field related to I was degree. an international uh, politics major, and now I host a radio show on a pirate cat. On a, on a pirate radio station, <laughs> and I do stand-up, so... And my mom my mom and dad are proud. And out of that 20% that actually do go into a field... They leave it. Only 1% of them actually becomes more than, than middle management. Right, right. Wow. Oh, man. Those are the facts. <laughs> That's what I aspire to. Middle management. <laughs> middle well, you management. Know, I, I actually even talk about that sometimes. About middle management? For your oh. degree. Uh, my degree, that's that's a damn sure. Yeah. My whole family, they don't flip out. They're like, man, how are you going to make that money, you know? How are you going to make that money? But they don't know that uh, studying minorities is a very lucrative occupation. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Because nothing says wealthy like a minority status. Nothing says money like a Tuskegee <laughs> project. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So, are you a tra- Are you are do you travel for, with your comedy, Edwin? A travel. Yeah. What do you mean? Or do you travel? Or, I mean, like apart from doing your. <laughs> okay. ba- there you go. That answers your question. What do you well, What do you mean travel? Well, like you know, you're you can ba- actually yeah. leave San Francisco. Do you leave San Francisco? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I um I haven't done uh, any big venues like in New York or anything, <laughs> right. but uh, every once in a while I would get called down. Uh, just mostly San Francisco. I mean, um, California. Yeah. Uh, I I uh, performed down in um, L.A. a couple of times, nice. but uh, nothing major. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've uh, done uh, San Jose. Oh, I hear that's so, really <laughs> nice, and you can really knock really them dead traveling. there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, I've also done. Um, yeah, just mostly San Francisco. I mean, uh, San Francisco area, Bay Area, <laughs> yeah. Oakland, and, uh, you know, every once in a while, but, uh, Modesto. And, uh, <laughs> I, bet, I bet my jokes would go over well in Modesto. Oh, you'd be, you'd be a hit. Yeah. yeah I'd literally be hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. that, that headline would change from Bush to, Cor- uh, to Casey. Yeah. <laughs> Who dragged behind a car. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy, but you, you know, like, there are some uh, gay guys in Modesto. I would, <laughs> I really, tell us more, Edwin. Yeah, so it was one night after a show. All right, I didn't even know what ha- what what happened. Okay, after a show, I, I went up, I did my act, and uh, there was this guy who was really nice to me. Right, <laughs> he was talking to me about my comedy. Was, uh, you know, I thought it was cool. Right when I'm about to leave, he goes, "Hey, man, I got some uh, drinks in my hotel room. Yeah, I come up." And tell, I was us like, more. Nah, man, tell us more. Tell us more. Too late as Modesto. I was about to go home, and <laughs> when I was driving, <laughs> that's when it really hit me. I was like, "Oh my god, I got." There's a penis in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we, you I know. Like, uh, no, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And that but, pays uh, better than comedy. Sure, if you ever play Modesto, <laughs> there would be always like one or two guys. I think that's like that with um, Every, everywhere. Everywhere, you know? yeah. There's always like this one. One lonely gay guy just waiting. <laughs> it's it's a one gay town. Well, there. I mean, we're 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 so I so I hear we're about we're about ten percent of the population. So you got ten people in a room. There's a good chance one of them's going to be gay and trying yeah, to yeah. suck your cute dick, Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> Twiddle it, as they say in yeah. the community. I, I, I like I like where you went with your comedy, uh, Edwin. Just just as, a, as another comic watching your watching your set, uh, you've uh, you've embraced the fact that you're young and goofy, and and started yeah. to started to display that more in your comedy. Uh, that's true. I don't know. I went through uh, several phases of comedy, but uh, the, the phase I'm going through right now, I uh, I'm, I feel very comfortable with it because I think it's uh, who I am. It's it's yeah. Well, it's who you are now. Yeah, you're, you're yeah, just a yeah. young, awkward, goofy kid, and and you're. And you're playing that up on stage, and it works well. For a while, you were trying to, you were emulating some of your your uh, some of the guys that you really respected, and it didn't. Yeah. I don't think it fits you as well as what you're doing now. Your jokes were still good, but I think what you're doing now is so much better than than. Uh, and, and you're working with with who you are, and, and I like where you're going with it, and, and I think it conveys on stage, and uh, it's funny stuff, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, for a while I was. Uh yeah, well, like you say, I was I was emulating uh, some of the comics that I looked up to because you know you need to find your voice, right? And True. I'm just trying to find my voice through them, you know. But I I realize you know now you can take all that and throw it away, you know. Yeah. <laughs> And, yeah, and, and good job. Everybody sucks when they start out. Yeah, everybody, especially if you're in Modesto and that guy comes up to you and you need the money. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> everyone. Like, yeah. I, uh, no, I mean, when, when I first started performing, I would literally like get up there, forget everything I was about to say, stumble through and be like, and people would be like, who is this like very slow individual who just tried to perform comedy for us? And um, now I actually can put together coherent jokes it's crazy after only a year i can speak <laughs> you know intelligently on stage whatever so yeah edwin oh, man, you got a long way to go <laughs> yeah, he's yeah got, i he's got, got a, a year is, is i got a, nothing in comedy years, man. i got a long way to go <laughs> oh uh, yeah, yeah. Sheesh, but you'll I, get there though i hope you'll so get you'll, I'm, you'll, I'm get we'll yeah, all yeah, get we're there. all getting there we're getting there al's getting there yeah, yeah we been, all can't be movers and shakers like al who run the comedy scene i don't run but uh but one day uh edwin do you got anything else you want to promote here um, besides, uh, oh, just again, uh, showmeclothing.com. Spell that for us. Website. Yeah, S-H-O-M-Y, uh, C-L-O-T-H-I-N-G dot com. Nice. Please check that out. And if you have some time, go to my MySpace, too, uh, myspace, uh, dot com slash Edwin Lee 130. That's E-D-W-I-N-L-I-130. And uh, check out my upcoming dates and some of my independent films. Yeah. You, you, you know what really sells shirts? What? Uh, really cool people like us wearing them. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. People be like, damn, what's yeah. Casey wearing? <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. Why has his will, shirt will, got uh, TV on it? <laughs> <laughs> I like I the definitely hook you guys up. I like yeah. I like the hangman shirt. That one is cool. Yeah, thanks. I, I like that one. That's a cool design. I'd I'd sport that on stage like all the time. Mm. I'm, <laughs> <he's dug> <laughs> hey, Edwin, we're we're gonna get out of here. Um, I really appreciate appreciate you being on the show, and I'd uh, you know love to meet you sometime. And uh, I promise, <laughs> like unlike the Modesto guy, I won't try and take you back to my room. And, so uh, what, before you, you go, you're you're performing in where this weekend? Uh, I will be at the San Francisco Punchline, all right, um, 444 Battery Street. I will be opening for Rex Neveretti. Uh Your middle is Kevin Shea, and it's going to be an Asian night. But nice. it's definitely going to be a fun night. All right. Keep it Asian. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, <laughs> local comedian and entrepreneur Edwin Lee. And uh, you can, Do you have a website? He just said him. Oh, did he? I didn't even yeah. hear it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Edwin, we're, we're gonna we're gonna manage here. We're gonna uh, have some coffee and wake up again. And uh, I appreciate it. You you sound like you're a mover and a shaker. Keep it up, man. Take care, man. Go okay, back to I, class, man. Thanks, Edwin. <laughs> All right, go to school.